Hi everyone, today I'm in London. Woohoo! All I need to do is find Old Ken Road because I'm using Asda Superstore to do my tour. So let's go and find it and find some extreme air makeovers. Woo. D to the A to the V to the I to the D. J to the A to the M to the E to the S. Air Guru, yes it's me, David James Air Guru. Gonna show you all what to do to change, create, maintain your do. Step by step tutorials, makeovers without no rules. Catwalk looks or the latest trends. So come on girls, sing my praise. Crimp it, curl it, plait it, band it, trim it, colour it, brush it, wash it, change it, create it. But most of all, you gotta maintain it. So here we are in Old Ken Road in London. All we need is extreme air makeovers. And I've got my first extreme air makeover. This is Tony, and I've shown Tony through my cuts that I've got with me today. And she's chosen Frankie from the Saturdays. Frankie from the Saturdays cut is the most requested in the salon. But today, with Tony, we're going to put a flash of colour in. We're going to go vibrant red. Might be a bit cold. So Tony's colours all done. All we need now is for Tony to cook. That's, that's the air, not anything else. <laughs> Isn't this colour beautiful? I can't wait for Tony to see the great reveal. So that's it, Tony's extreme air makeover is complete. All we need to do now is show Tony a new barnet. So Tony, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Oh, right here screams. <laughs> do you like it? I do, it's really different. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Is it different in a good way? It is. It is. Yeah. You look so much younger as well, and I always say this on, um, on my YouTube videos, but it is completely transformed you, isn't it? And that red at the front as well, it just gave you that bit of an energy, up-to-date, modern twist. So going for a flash of colour can really make that big difference. And going for a flash of colour just around the, the face, the, the airline, you can just disguise it when the roots come back with the dark on top so then your colour can last a little bit longer and like I've told you in other videos the best way to keep this colour refreshed is by using a crazy colour if so if you go back into one of my videos you'll see the tip that I gave you there and the advice so this is number two extreme air makeover today in Old Kent Road in London and as you can see I'm sorry this is Kelly um, and as you can see this is another DIY colour disaster and as you've seen in my other videos colours are just not true does it tell you on the box that um, if you've got the dark base on it's not going to lift it as you can see with Kelly's hair it's multi-toned um, it's dark on the ends it's coppery mid length it's loads of more roots on the back there there's even a tinge of green in there so what we need to do is we need to at least tone it all out and try and get it one tone all over. Kelly is raring for something different, something creative. Um, so I'm thinking this needs to go. So where is my scissors? These mid-lengths and ends are absolutely destroyed. It's like straw. So what I'm going to do is take it off. Um, I'm going to put in a full fringe and go quite blunt, so a nice sharp blunt pop. Is that alright with you Kelly? It's fine. Okay. Colour, it's all processed. All we need to do now is wash it off and give her that cut that she needs. So Kelly's colour is all processed and it looks instantly better now. We've evened out the tones of the yeah, you see it for yourselves anyway. Um, so now it's time to give Kelly the cut that's gonna suit her face shape. Like I said before, we're gonna put in a full fringe 
and Kelly's hair is really fine and wispy. So instantly now, with that dark tone in there, it looks a lot thicker. So we're going to go for a nice full blunt fringe and a nice blunt bob just below, let's say, or just level with the chin. So as you can see, Kelly's extreme air makeover is complete. As you can see with that full blunt fringe, it has really transformed and also framed Kelly's face. The colour is 100 times better. Kelly, are you ready to see your new crowning glory? Yes, I am. Right, okay. Don't you think that is an extreme air makeover? Yes. You look so much better. Absolutely. Don't get that DIY colour disaster again. Don't you think those blondes look so natural and the browns has just made it look a little bit more thicker than it is? Because mm. Kelly's hair is really, really fine. But it just looks... You look like a complete different person. I'll show you the back. Colour. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. And also as well, because you have got those natural greys coming through, having the blonde highlights just throughout the top, we we'll just blend them. And when they come back, it we'll just help blend them. Mm. Right, so it's keep your blonde nice. tones on top and also just around the middle and the sides. Keep it dark because it makes it have the illusion that it's a lot thicker than it is. There okay. you go. Thank so you. Kelly, would you recommend the David James Extreme Air Makeover to all the YouTube viewers out there? 100% yes. Yes, so that's it, another Extreme Air Makeover complete. Let's go and do another one. So in this part of the video, I'm going to show you all how to do a quick fix style in less than five minutes. And today I'm going to show you the fishtail plait. So first off, we want to keep that sweep in the fringe. Then what we want to do is just brush it all over, smooth it all over onto the one side. And just there, we're then going to put a band in, a bobble. Then what you need to do, separate the air into two pieces, taking a piece from the outside into the inside. The outside into the inside and so on. Outside, into the centre. There's a fishtail plait in less than five minutes. So while you've got the fishtail plait, why not do a fishtail bun? And it's as simple as A, B, C. Wrap around, tuck under, get a grip, pin in the top, pin in the bottom, There you go. That's the fishtail bun. So there's my quick tip of the week and how to achieve it in less than two minutes. So now let's get back to extreme air makeovers. Follow me on Twitter to see where my wheels take me next and also click subscribe on YouTube to catch all my latest videos. See you in part two. Come on.